What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back here in Scry Mechanic. I want to thank everyone for all the love and support on this series. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. We have an Ask Me Anything coming this weekend, probably tomorrow along those lines. Send me those uh, fan questions uh, at uh, ddfanquestions at gmail.com. Yes, yes, yes. And there may even be a Scrap Mechanic video coming out later uh, today for fan creations because I've been so wrapped up in my HTC vibe just having a good time in a virtual reality. Oh, and we're singing again. So, uh, we're back on our home, our modern home, and my back. We're back on my back. We're back. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, I am taking your uh, thoughts and comments in consu uh, into consider. Ink. I can't talk this morning. The coffee hasn't quite kicked in. Um, taking your thoughts and uh, comments into consideration. Someone said you should probably put the uh, plants on the ground and then just build uh, the concrete around it, and then that way it makes it look like it's actually stuck into the ground and not a pot sitting on top. And I was like, that's a good idea. I shall try it, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, but everyone is pretty much in consensus. I think one person, one one guy, um, was a fan of the moss, and he's like, maybe she was just like, uh, <laughs> it was kind of like a weird kind of like underhanded uh, com uh, compliment. You know, it's like a, yeah, it looks good. Maybe if it just put more of it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving me a big vote of confidence here, pal. Uh, but it's fine. No, I understand. So, um, I think it's a good. I think it's a good idea. I just don't think it's a good idea here or on this home per se. But you never know. You never know when we could use it. Now, what have I been working on? Oh, this is accidentally got you. <laughs> right, got you where I want you. We're gonna have. Uh, I've been spending most of the morning trying to make a living room like a front area but I had in my mind that I needed some mechanical parts to complete the task at hand and when it comes to moving parts and things like that it, I can get it down I can get it down it just takes me a long time and then as I'm as you can see oh <laughs> and as uh, even just like sliding doors and moving doors I sit there for a while and try to figure out a, how can it move it, and B, how can it look nice? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, bro? Oh yeah, someone also asked, uh, how did I, how do I get this door from going, uh, opening on the inside and the outside? Um, I have two switches to hook up to the same door. Boom. Um, it's just a bearing right there, a block and bearing right there, so that uh, this is on one controller, and then this is on a completely separate controller. This button. This button right here goes to the controller on the inside, which spins the entire thing, and then it goes back, and then if you hit this, it goes to that controller, then goes to this bearing, and it also spins, that creates this. And you can even see it when I go on the inside. You can see the centerpiece when I hit it. See how it kind of like juts out there a little bit? Let's see if it does it again. See? See how kind of it, it stays in one place while this moves around it. So. That's how I do that. But check it out. Oh, um, it's not complete. It's still a work in progress, but I think it's a good start. I think it's a fantastic start. Um, just a nice little entrance area. Um, I've, first thing I wanted to try and do is, you know, you got to break up the white. You got to break up the white walls or the, you know, the floors a little white. And I like the tile. And the way that I put the tile with the two tiles barrier it kind of looks like it is a little bit just a little bit of a raised carpet and it's not it's all even ground but it makes the illusion that it's on a carpet all by putting that tile break and border around there it breaks up the white and it makes it look like there is a carpet here and I think that's pretty spiffy check out the sofas um, I was contemplating I was actually mulling this over for like a half an hour <laughs> this morning like uh, I made these little couches these custom sofas but at times I was like it kind of looks like a futon <laughs> it kind of looks like a futon from college but at the same time I'm, I'm going for a you know a modern industrial type feel obviously because you know we have building blocks that are pipes so why wouldn't I go with an industrial feel pretty much every build is going to have an industrial feel um, yes uh, this particular uh, coffee table 
Um, since people have been sending me a ton of creations using the Grego mod, I had the Grego mod installed and I decided, I was like, you know what? We gotta make these table legs, like little coffee table legs. Those little corner pieces, those little wedges, and I think that looks fantastic. It's free moving too, so if I decide I want to move it at any time, um, I, I can. And we have a little flower here and a coaster, aka a button. I was going to put a bearing there, um, but you can't color the bearings. You can't paint them, so uh, it would just stay that nasty yellow. I didn't like that. But uh, with the button, you can paint it, and it kind of looks like a little coaster, you know? No big deal. No big whoop. We have the grass panels because uh, it adds a little green to everything. Colored them red as well. Now, this is not a final product. We also, oh, so yeah, it's ceiling fans. Three ceiling fans. And I'm up in the air on this. I was going to try and create, just kind of try and build my own palm trees a little bit. My own little palm trees. And I just, they look like garbage. They look like rancid dog poop. So, I decided to just forego the uh, palm trees and just rock and roll on here. Now behind there is the glass bathroom. So I'm thinking about putting a divider up there as well. Let's go ahead and let's head on up there. I forgot to paint something. What? So this is the sh- Hey now. Hey. Hey, that wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice ceiling fan. Gorgeous, gorgeous ceiling fan, yeah. Yeah, I know I made you. I could say it. Uh, let's paint you. you. Okay. So, what this could be is possibly uh, like a drainage pipe, kind of. Not really, though. I just wanted to make some sort of accent, like a little pipe accent that kind of takes away from the blandness of the white. You gotta break it up a little bit, either with color or with extra pieces. Now, uh, it is a living space. We will have people over, you know? We'll have company over, and we're probably gonna wanna watch some TV. Or even just uh, me uh, hanging out, grab my coffee from the kitchen, let sit down on the uh, sit down on the couch, and have myself a good time. But the TV hit that third button, brings it down. Now I'm sitting here and I'm watching the news, finding out what's going on. Why is that on even? Is that on even? Looks like that's uneven. That is uneven. It's even here, but not even there. Eh, eh, I'll have to fix that then. That's just moving it over one. That's no big deal. I can do that. That's fine. It's even here, just not even in the back. That's fine. I just noticed that now. Oh well. Mistakes, but makes this, that's an easy mistake. That's an easy one to fix. That's an easy one to fix. Because then that'll lengthen everything out to... Oh, okay. Let's do that now. Why not? But first things first. I'll show you the rest of the stuff. We have our ceiling fans. They move ever so slowly. Two are going, uh, the two on the sides are going the same way, and then the one in the middle is making an alternating current. I wanted to try and bend them. I was having the idea to give it a little bit of a bend, as ceiling fans are wont to do, but I'm trying to reduce. I don't want to have too much bearings going on because that could be a major issue. Later on in the build, after I'm like, oh, I'm so close to being done, and then out of nowhere, I can't move in my own world. So, I think it looks pretty cool, though. Hmm. I just noticed that they are going the opposite way. <laughs> They're all going the wrong way. This is, uh, that, that, that part is the blade. Hmm. I guess we can go that way. There we go. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be super nice, guys. You know? It's gonna be really nice. So, we have those going, and of course, we have the sliding doors. Um, when it comes to the opening of the doors, I wanted to try and do something where there's gonna be glass, but I knew that I want to have the industrial feel. I'm probably going to add two more bars that are faux bars that are pretty much just there for show. Um, probably not though, not quite sure. Maybe I'll have something pop up when these are closed because it just seems like there's one tiny little bar right here. You know, but it's sleek and it's nice and I like it and it's sexy. So what happens when we hit this? That'll open up. Let's turn the ceiling fans off. And out we go. 
Go ahead, ceiling fans. You stop now. All right. And then we're out on our patio and on our deck. And I think that's gonna, uh, that's pretty nifty. That's a pretty spiffy thing. Now, when it comes to the, uh, are these, are these done? Can we, can we stop this? Is this real life? Hmm. It'll probably still go. There's the slowing down. There's ceiling fans, Diesel. I know. I know, right? Um, when it comes to the door, uh, this is not an even space here. So, um, the door itself has to kind of... It doesn't even kind of... Uh, it's going to be a little janky when it closes. I mean, it closes just fine. Boom. It's just having the jigsaw puzzle pieces that you're obviously going to see there. It's not going to be a flush, even draw because the uh, everything is odd. It's an odd doorway. I like odd doorways. Doorways to me are odd. Everything is odd. Odd, odd, odd. Even, even Stevens. It's my Minecraft. It's the Minecraft in me. It's the my. It's the Minecraft in me. Da, 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 da. The Minecraft in me. Da, 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 da. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's the door. That's the door. I was like, what is this little piece? Oh, that's the door. Gotcha. That's fine. So, um, yeah, odd door. And the ceiling fans, they ain't stopping. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh -uh. So, I might have to mess around with that. Mess, mess around with that. But let's see if we can go ahead and we can just move this here. So, let's go ahead and we'll grab some pipes. Get some pipes. Boom. Uh, hubboom. Uh, bearings, probably gonna need bearings. And possibly a weld tool, even though I don't know. I don't know if it'll work. The weld tool to me is tricky. It's a tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Brr. It's tricky to rock. Oh, rhyme to rock. Oh, rhyme. It's right on time. It's tricky. Oh. Uh, let's see. We'll take you off. And you follow no no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, I got an idea over here because this isn't really attached. This bar is just here for show. As you can see. So, if we just remove you. Hey, ceiling fans finally stopped. Yay! Yay! And then we take... You? Yes, we can. We can attach them. Yes. You can be taught. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so if we take this right here and we just move it out one, everything will match up and get rid of you. Nice, nice, nice. I have this here as just a connector piece, so let's just get rid of that. It's nice little stabilization. Stabilization. Whoops. Whoopsies. Boom. Now we're good. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Like a club. Like a glove. Boom, 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 ha boom! Fantastic, fantastic! It's fantastic, Mr. Potter. Fantastic! Very, very cool. Oh, this one looks like. Ha! Ah. Well, it is mine. It is my crib. I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. I'm gonna do what I want. So. If you guys have any suggestions, all you guys, you gals, all you scrap mechanics out there, leave a comment in the comment section down below of what you think I should throw in the living room. I know that it is a work in progress. Now, uh, when it comes to the wooden panels, nah, when it comes to the wooden panels that are up top here, you, like again, I uh, said again, breaking up the space, but making it all feel like it's one. Um, like I said, it's a modern home, so it doesn't all have to be even Stevens. You know what I'm saying? So, I like this glass. I like the green glass. Let's see what happens when I go into the white. 
Oh, that's kind of spiffy. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, since I do have the Grego mod, I uh, do have the, uh, the sexy glass. The sexy, sexy glass now. Um, but I'm not using it because I want to try and keep this as vanilla as I can, even though I'm using these spaces right here as table legs, which are fantastic, by the way. You're welcome. And the corner pieces here, the round corners, because there's a lot. There's a lot to do. And new update for uh, Scrap Mechanics is going to be coming out soon. Soon with the workshop. So I'm not sure how fan creations are going to work now. When it comes to getting me them sweet, sweet fan creations. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I'm thinking that since you can then uh, upload them to Steam, if you have uh, something that's on the Steam Workshop, you can message me or comment or uh, send me the link. I will go grab it and I will showcase it. Um, that's going to be the new Steam Workshop. And how that's going to work is whenever you make a creation, uh, the new dev blog came out. Whenever you make a creation, and then you pop down the L, uh, the uh, lift, lift, and then you build your creation on top of the lift. And then while it's on the lift, you can then hit the E button like you would any of the controllers, um, buttons, anything in Scrap Mechanic. And then it will bring you into a screen where you can then save your creation and upload it to the Steam Workshop. And then boom, you can actually take your creation from one world to another world. So say you have uh, you and your boys, you, you got yourself some friends, good for you. Good for, good for you! You got yourself uh, some friends on a multiplayer server, but on your single player world you made this awesome car, but then you just don't want to recreate it on, on some other world, because it's too much of a pain. So you can just go ahead and you make a new one. Well now, well not now, soon, 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 we will all have the capability to move creations from world to world in the click of a button. And also, Scrap Mechanic has decided that they are going to a new engine, a new game engine. They were playing on the Ogre engine, but they decided to make their own engine so that they can tweak it, they can optimize it uh, for video cards uh, less than <laughs> what you can run it on now, which is like a, what, a 700 series, 700 NVIDIA 700. I have a 970, and uh, it can be pretty rough, but there are people that have problems with like 540s, and uh, they are making their own engine so that that alleviates the issue. So there can be a lot more people who can play Scrap Mechanic on their computers at home, uh, not on consoles, because let's not get crazy. And yeah, so what are we going to be doing in the future? Well, I think, I think what we're going to try and do and tackle tomorrow, I may be doing a live stream tomorrow for funsies. We're going to tackle this kitchen area. <clears throat> kitchen area. There's going to be a little bit of a bathroom here. A little tiny, like, water closet. A um, little washroom. We're going to detail this up as well. We're going to have some uh, little areas here. Uh, possibly we'll have a, a bathroom here. I think that would be a good, good place for a bathroom. Got a nice little nice little lane. Goes into the game room here. We're going to have a pool table. Got to make a closet. Got to make a closet. Closet. And this is, I've decided this is going to be my gaming area. This is it. This is the gaming. This is where I'm doing all my videos. You know what I mean? Doing the YouTubes. Oh. Where's the, where's the glass? There ain't no glass, man. Yo, what's up with your glass, dude? I don't know. I don't even know. Nice. Nice. So, folks, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. It helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead. Hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, like shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in the lovely, lovely mansion, modern mansion of Diesel next time.